B Street joins me here on the show tonight for Sports Hip Hop with DJ Mad Max, Live 365, iHeartRadio. Welcome to the show, man. How's everything going? Different type of cinema on all platforms, the YouTube visual and all that. The newest single, go check that out. But how are you feeling, man? How is everything going? And I appreciate just for being here. I appreciate this. Thank you. Uh, of good. course, man. Shout out to El Nice for connecting us. I did a little research on your history and just learned about you coming up in the game of basketball and just wanting to learn more about your transition to music full time. So I want to get completely into your story, man, because early on, I know all about it, but walk me through the, the transition from being a basketball player because you, you you went to college. I heard that you were drafted. So walk me through the transition. That's the most important thing here in, into the music game. I mean, it was a tough transition for real. You know, basketball world and the music world, two, two different worlds. So yeah. I had to learn about like networking. And I, you know, I still I feel like I kept like my discipline and certain stuff from basketball, but it's just totally different, bro. I had to learn so much. It's totally different. Yeah, it is, it, especially the ins and out of the industry, because you have your own label. You're on yeah. your own label right now. So I, I know the now, boys. yeah, absolutely. We're going to get it all into that. But how different is it now? You know, because racism is such a huge topic it, because it, it really plays a, a heavy field, not only in sports, but in the music thing. When you see the higher ups who run these record labels and everything. So did you notice certain things in both aspects? And we're like, yeah, you got racism in both entities here. For sure. For sure. For sure. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just it's called like game of life. So just play it right. Yeah. No, it, you know it's I mean? the right people, your friends, no matter what business you got to learn, take the person out of everything business in this world. Nothing personal. Exactly. It, you you were drafted with the Sam Houston I heard about. You committed there? Yeah, I, I came out of Sam Houston, yeah. And that's back when they had the D League before the G League. Yeah. So well, did that. But when you went pro, who drafted you for those who don't know? It was Reno Bighorns. That Reno was our Big Horns. Magic uh secondary team back then. Yeah. Well, that's fire. It, it, so did you was this well, what year? Give me the year. Was this around like when Dwight Howard was there? 29, yeah, 29, 09. 2010. Yeah, so we're talking the yeah the, the yeah. prime Dwight Howard era. Yeah, they were going crazy. Yeah, that, that was. I ain't, no, I ain't get no call ups or nothing like that. They went no call ups back then. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was just like D League with taking buses. It's way better now. Like the young kids got it dope. It's really dope now. I love how it is right now. But back my old time, it was a little different. Yeah, no, it, it definitely was. Did you think about potentially going overseas? I know Stefan Marbury, once he was done with the league, he's like, I'm, I'm going to China. I'm going overseas. I had a lot of seas offers. I had a lot of offer, offers going across seas, but just wanted to stay in the U.S. I felt like, man, once I get to the NBA, kind of lost my love. You know, that's when kind of the music game, the music world was kind of like being, being on me. I was getting very interested in that, making a lot of money for not doing sprints. <laughs> But you, you share a lot in common because you look at J. Cole, Dave East. You have a lot of hip-hop artists that have played basketball and even would consider yeah. trying out for a team. Would you consider that in the future? Would you consider wanting to try out and get back in or I'm you're too, done? I'm, too, I'm done with basketball. I'm too old for the basketball world. Too but old. I love it. Now, I think all ballers want to be rappers and all rappers want to be ballers for real. It's just like a cross world. So Yeah. Like Drake said, the rappers and ballers are synonymous. Right. It really, I want. To, I always ask all the the players that come on my show, the either in either field, they have done both. Who's the greatest rapper, or basketball player of all time? I don't know. I don't even know. I couldn't tell you that because if you, whoever you say, I might say, well, put him up against me. It'd be a little yeah. different. People would do a poll today, and they would probably lean more towards Dame because people love to see Dame freestyle. Yeah, Dame got it. Of course, you would say Dame. For sure. Allen Dang Iverson. No, nah, hey, I want a good rapper, though. You don't think so? <laughs> <laughs> and that's my role model. That's my guy. I love AI to death. I love AI. Shaq is nice, though. Shaq definitely nice. And he got the play at the match. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, absolutely. He still can't stop the rain. He's going platinum back in the day. <laughs> in the 90s. Yes. Yeah. He had a big run. Yeah. He had a big run. Yeah, and Kobe, Kobe did some work, too. I know he rapped with Shaq, did something with Brian McKnight back in the day. Oh, okay. I didn't really know about Kobe like that. Yeah, rest in peace to Kobe. Your, your role model's AI. What's it about AI that you kind of modeled your game? I, I want to say that you probably modeled your game after him if you look up to him in that way. Definitely did. I mean, because he was small, but a lot of heart, fearless. 
that's what I loved about him. He had more heart than height, more heart than everything, you know. And his game backed it up. Speed, just score. I love his game completely, but I love his heart. Like, he brought it. No matter who was in front of him, he brought his all. He gave his all. That's something I took from AI. Do you think that not winning a ring really hurts you? Because when I look at the, the league, because Shaq recently released the whole top bigs in the league of all time. And Patrick Ewan, he put Patrick Ewan on there, top centers of all time. And top, I think he had like seven or eight listed. And people were like, oh, you can't put Ewing in there. And I feel as though it's because he didn't win the ring. But AI is another one, one of the greatest of all time, but yeah. never won anything, unfortunately. But do you yeah. think that really hurts you in the, in the case? Eventually, yeah. I, I think so. When you, when you measure the greats, you're going to rings, you know, that's a big factor. So it definitely hurt. You know what I mean? It definitely hurt, but it didn't hit their pockets. So Yeah, no, I, it, it didn't <laughs> because it, they're iconic no matter what happens. But let, let's get deeper in, into your career <laughs> because I heard all about, you know, people you're related to. Seven Streeter, first cousin? Yeah, yeah that's my cousin. Yeah. yeah, what did she teach you about the game? Her consistency, like she just she's relentless. Her work ethic, she has great work ethic. You know, I think she's the best singer in the world. You know, what I'm saying to me, I might be a little biased, but to me, she's the best. She can pin the best, and her voice is like an angel to me. So I think she's the best. She don't get her flowers enough. You know what I'm saying? I think in this game, but yeah, just agree. her work ethic, her consistency, for sure. No, oh, she's got it. You could tell just she by listening it. to me. It shows in the music. Are, are you guys going to be working on some music together soon? That's the goal. We got some stuff coming up. Yeah, so, that's yeah. fire. Yeah. Yeah, we need that. It, but it, talk to me about different type of sin for the message behind the track and what you were trying to convey for the people who may have not heard it yet. Man, different type of sin really just, I put some gems in our field, you know, telling you how to get you some money, man. Leverage your credit, do right. You know, you can do it bad way, you can do it the right way. But I tell everybody, do it the right way, man. Do it a good way, you know. The, the most important Stop thing fighting. is learning in this industry from other people's mistakes. Was there someone, like you just said, with the bad credit or has gone through a bad deal that you learned from and were like, okay, let me let me try to go through this way instead of yeah. maybe walking down that same path that they did? Yeah, I know saw a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? I learned. I like to I like to pay attention. I pay close attention to the ones that's really doing it, that's ahead of me, you know. So I, I learn from their mistakes and stuff like that, for sure. Anyone in particular, like an OG in the game? I mean, I don't. I got a couple people that's close. I don't want to say no name, you know. Okay. So I want to put their put their business out there, but I definitely learn from them. No, you could tell. First quarter. I always like how you keep your mixtapes kind of sports synonymous there. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. what's this different type of thing going to be a part of are we going to put this on another quarter what's the what's going to be the project that you're working on upcoming here um it was just a single um i just got a couple of singles to lead up to the album you know what i mean but right now I just i got singles and different types of singles one of those one like i said we love the gym i love the message behind it you know what i'm saying i thought the video was fine they definitely got to check that out on youtube multi-millionaire boys that's your label what made you take the route and creating your own label and, instead of just trying to go out and chase that record bag? Um, well, I would say uh, me and my brother, um, who's the co-owner of the label, you know, we had the funds and we kind of just always wanted to be our own boss. You know, coming out the basketball world into this world, we got tired of people like, you know, doing our direction, leading us and stuff like that. And this world, we kind of wanted to lead ourselves. So we started our own label and, you know, ground, we've been putting in the groundwork from there. Would you say open to doing partner? Because people talk about partnerships is a big thing now. Are you open to partnerships with major labels? Or are you strictly staying? Definitely up? open up the partnership. The bad, right? Oh, man, if it sounds good, it's going to get us ahead. Yes, we for sure with it. You'll be open to that. No, I, I, I think yeah. it's important, but there's a lot of times where people, when you hear these stories where their albums get shelved and you can only release so much stuff. So I, I think to the point now, where do you see major labels heading? Because as someone that is an owner of their own label, where do you see the majors really heading? Because we are in the independent era now. Yeah, and I just think in the streaming world, I think they're going to just jump more into the streaming world. That's what I think. You know, they're making so much money off that. People don't even have to show up for shows now. You know, it's great. Yeah, no. It, 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 when you perform, have you ever bro brought out and just broke that out? Do you have a throwback jersey from when you were at Sam Houston? Well, I actually got a throwback jersey. But Yo, I, I, I need to see, Do you have that around? I ain't got it around right now. You ain't now. got it around. I ain't got a Sam Houston jersey around right now. But I definitely have one for sure. Yeah, you got you to gotta break that out. That's Got to. 
Yeah, that's, that's classic, right? And even if you want to even get that that resold too, have you thought about making some merch similar to that, or putting yourself when you're playing on a t-shirt, some some kind of merch? That would be dope. Nah, yeah. But that's a good that's a good idea, right though, for sure. Yeah, because I told you, you've said it before: rappers and ballers, ballers want to be rappers. Yeah. That would sell right there. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Master P, hey, Master P, he made it to the pros too. Yeah, I love P, man. I got him on the wall right here. Oh, studio. you got Master P. All of the last dawn. Is that yeah. your top, is that your top Master P album? Uh, no, that ain't the top one, but that's one that like really it still sticks out to me. Like that's when I feel like start taking off Ice Cream Man. I, I Ice Cream Ice Cream Man's my favorite. I like that one though. Yeah, I like Last Dawn. I really love the cover. Sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's he's got the icon. No limit. He had his own movement selling yeah. CDs back in the day. He. He, he took the same route you are independent yeah. i'm gonna put it all on me he's he doesn't get enough praise and i think that this is similar with the ai and the ewing because they don't have yeah. rings and all that stuff when you're independent you're not going to get as much praise as the one who's with the majors correct correct yeah master p did his thing man he's iconic out here but as far as movement go out there what's the movement for this summer because i feel as though every year you got to have a new theme whether and any position in entertainment you got to be out there putting tours what's the movement mm-hmm. coming for the, for this summer man i just want my music to help people really get some money you know what i'm saying like it really if you listening and telling you to get your credit right man do right with your money you know so i feel like in this game we always talk about buying bottles spending money on women how about you start spending on your family you know what i'm saying start helping your people get up you know what i mean start investing in businesses you know what i mean just really get into the bag and doing right i think that's something we need to change in our community money management for yeah. sure no you're right because people a lot of time you see a lot of artists once they get the, those first checks they go and blow their money on jewelry right away houses yeah. cars that they don't need it, it, it's so important and, and i appreciate you taking a different route and wanting to educate artists about what they should be spending as far as business investments what's what's the what should artists really be looking at as soon as they get into the game and once they have some money to invest in what would you recommend buying stocks i know a lot of um, real estates what, what, real what estate, yeah definitely real estate and just all type of like passive income e-commerce i would tell a lot of rappers try to get into the e-commerce you know i think technology is the next way e-commerce and definitely real estate real estate always be number one you know one thing they're not gonna build is more land yeah you know exactly i I can tell (laughs) that you 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 know you know what you're doing and you know the business side of things that how much did you take away from your time in college was there any courses with economics that you took marketing management that you you applied to what you're doing now i would definitely more into business i might have like lacked on a lot of other stuff not going to class but (laughs) well you had to play ball that's more important (laughs) yeah but business was something i definitely took um took serious and my tutor at the time when i had tutors in sam houston they was um major in business so then it was definitely one deal with the demons what do the demons represent to you oh man demons just like people i would say people that ain't good for you but they still bring money you know so all money ain't good money you know what i'm saying so you know they come with curses some money come with with bad karma you know so a lot of deals with demons yeah how much did this industry teach you right away as far as getting in there? But th- this is a lonely industry. You can't have too many people around you. It's not like basketball where you're friends with everyone on the team. This is a, a Bro, solo man's game. My first two years, yeah, it was hell. You know what I'm saying? Just a lot of losses, a lot of learning. You know, definitely found myself by myself after those first two, three years in the game. And built. I had to rebuild from there. Mm-hmm. So I took, went hard. My first two, three years was not the best. It was definitely hard. No. And you kept it in the family because you, you you help your brother out with the label. Correct. Correct. Yeah, so you kept it in the family. That's smart. Yeah. So, yeah, man. That's just how it went, you know? Yeah, no, it, it's a lonely game now. But it, yeah. as far as – I'll continue. No, I'm, go- I'm done. I'm done. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you- uh, it, it, as far as upcoming projects, you mentioned that you got the <laughs> singles leading up to the album. Have you, have you thought about what you're going to name it? No, I ain't got no name for it yet. Not at all. How's 2023 yeah, looking for you so far? Because you got the singles out. Like, How's it feeling as far as impact-wise for you and reaching your goals? Uh, just right now, we're just focused on executing. Executing the rollout, executing the plan that we, you know what I'm saying, we, we said at the beginning of the year. 
So just execution focus right now. So right now we just really focus head down, you know, trying to execute. I think we execute everything to be a great year. You know, trying to bring in the bag for sure. Right. Bring in the bag. Have you thought about, have you been scouting any artists out there that you want to add to the label? Or are you kind of just keeping it yourself until things really yeah. skyrocket? Then Definitely. you'll consider signing we artists. always looking to add, you know what I'm saying? Anything that can add to our value, you know what I mean? We can help each other. We definitely always looking to add. But right now we definitely focus on what we got right here. And where are you currently representing right now? Because I know artists move around all the time. Where are you currently yeah. located? So I'm originally from Polk County, Haines City, Florida, to be exact, but I live in uh, South Florida. South Florida. And how's the, how's the music scene buzzing right now in South Florida? South Florida always have a great music scene. They always have a good music scene down here. Definitely. You've been out there collaborating, too, getting going to networking and events this year, too? Uh, a couple of them. I, don't, I ain't been getting out as much, but I definitely go to a couple. It's nice to always keep me, like, sharp on my schedule and stuff like that. Big bro. Shout out to Big Bro, because he, like, always got... Yeah, El Nice is definitely plugged in the game. Walk me through how you guys got connected in the industry. That's a major network right there with El Nice. Man, years ago, I, uh, that was like one of the very first events we did when we started our label and the artists we had. We uh we did one of his music conferences and like man, he treated us good. Was he showed me a lot of knowledge, showed me a lot of things, taught me a lot of things, and man, we just been like really tied in since then. It's like my big bro. No, he he's definitely one of the realest in the game, and you know with him. That's all you need in this industry, someone like him, because he's real. It, 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 it's rare. It's rare to come across with someone like yeah. him. He's one of the best ARs in the game to me, for sure. You you mentioned the business ventures. What are some things you want to do outside of music and, and business? Have you thought about taking it to the fashion side? What are some other interests that people may not know about? How about even starting your own basketball league? The big three is a thing, right? Oh, yeah. Honestly I, honestly, I would love to. I mean, Only a few people know this. But I would love to hit a lot of and just hit. go, just leave. You know what I'm saying? Just, I love to hit a lot of, and I just me, me and my girl just go off to an island and just be good. You feel me? Any island specific, the one that you're, because hey, you got to manifest. It's gonna happen. Yeah, I actually got a secret island. I don't want to, you know, it's a secret, so I can't tell you. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a secret <laughs> island. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you don't have any neighbors out there? Yeah, you no neighbors, no yeah. neighbors. No, that's a good mindset to have. Okay, because you mentioned the lotto. That, that's something of gold. You gamble a lot? Is that something that uh, you do? Yeah, it's like a little side job. It's like a little side. Oh, boy. Yeah, because <laughs> fan duel is huge. You're into the fan duel and all that with the sports? Yeah. yeah, we actually don't have a fan duel down in Florida. I don't. You know, we have other accounts. But, yeah, we definitely be doing a lot of parlays. We pick a lot of parlays. Now, who are your teams? I want to get into the sport because since you're a big sports guy and you played ball, who are your teams? Because I love it so much. I love basketball. Everybody. I'm, I'm really into the players mostly. It's you know, because everybody always, I don't have teams really. I love the Magic. I love Miami because, you know, they're from home. But players, I'm just really into just the game itself. I love the game for real. If they gave you your big break right now, who's a player that they, or even back in the day, I, is more preferable to say if they gave you your break, who's a player that you see yourself in right now at your position? Oh, I would say uh, a lot of people say Steph Curry. Steph Curry. Oh, so you're a gunner. Yeah, I noticed that you just were racking shooting. up the points in it when you were yeah, just, just shooting, yeah. Just baby to shoot the ball. So Curry. I would definitely, that was a lot of people would say for sure. He make the top, is he top five all time when you put him with LeBron, Jordan? You think Curry makes a top five? I think if he keep going, he probably will be. You know, he keep, he going to keep setting, breaking records. Another championship, definitely putting him up there, you know? Yeah. So. I think his time ain't done. I can't. We can't really call it into, but he's definitely already up there, top five point guard. I think all the time right now. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he's easily he's so. Yeah, the greatest shooter of all time. No yeah, doubt about he to it. me he's gonna break it. To me he's gonna break the top five all time greatest players. You know, just just where he was. He's one of the most dangerous guys when he get off the bus. Yeah, all, no doubt about it. It changed the game. He changed the game with the three point shot because the guy, the, the whole league, it's just all threes now. Facts. That's just how it goes. Like every every game, like open gym, man. Yeah, it, it's crazy to see when you watch games in the '90s. It was all you had to create your own shop, get in there in the paint. Now it's just strictly just run and gun. Yeah, no more big man. Back then it was all no. the big man passing to the big man. Dang, yeah. I wish I was born in this era. This I wish this was my era. Gunning it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Do you think the league is – because I know people say that the, there's people that go back and forth. People say, oh, well, the players from today couldn't play in the era back then. <laughs> and you hear people, oh, well, who's stopping KD in the 90s when he, the way he plays? But what do, you, what do you think? You think the players from the day could hang with the guys in the 90s? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's more skill. You know what I'm saying? Way more skill. Like, definitely. They definitely could. It's way more skill. And, like, how the guys played in the 90s, everybody have an open three-pointer. Them guys just played off back then. Yeah. What's your thought on this whole Bradley Beal trade? Do you think the Suns are going to get get the chip? I, don't, I wouldn't call them getting a the chip yet. I'm, I'm going to stop making those pre predicaments until we see it. You know what I mean? Like, them still, like, not getting broke up. Like, you still got to beat Denver, you know? They the champs until then. Yeah, Jokic. J- Jokic is yeah, – him and Murray went crazy. Yeah, and everybody just have to be healthy around at the right time. Health, that's something um, you can't control. You have to have that luck on your side, you know what I'm saying, when you're going for a championship. That plays a big, big part. No, you do. And, and we saw Miami with, with them being the eighth seed and, and the way that they just they, – they crushed the entire East out of nowhere. And then That was crazy. Yeah. Crazy. It, it, Trust me, I was an, I'm a Knicks fan, so I was I was heated <laughs> when they he took us hurt. down. <laughs> I know you was hurt. Definitely. Yeah, uh, it's going to be curious because I have you been seeing the things going on on Twitter today? Apparently, Obi Toppin gotten into an alter, altercation with Tom Thibodeau. No, I didn't see that. Yeah, so no. I, he's probably going to be off the team. I'm not happy about it. I, the Knicks. Uh, what are your thoughts? Because you because you're an expert at basketball, just being so nice at ball. What's your thoughts on the Knicks and what they have to do? You think that to take it to the next level? Got to get a big time superstar. They need a solid solidified superstar you know what i mean Jalen brunson is great yeah you know, i like i like julius Randle. i like the whole team rj berry i love they squad that they got but they need them they need somebody that you know you can really count on Jalen shows it but they need that you know superstar it's a big yeah. difference between a star and superstar in the nba yeah there is who do you think would have been a good you think beal would have been a good match for that because people were bringing it up but beal should be on the next game to the next you think he would have been a, a good compliment for them uh, he definitely would have helped the team because he's a he's a great, you know what I'm saying, player. I think he'll help the team, but they need somebody that either have the experience of, you know what I'm saying, winning it. They need like a it's just a solidified superstar for yeah. sure. No, that's they somebody need. that can handle the big apple because that comes with a lot of media. It's a lot of pressure when you go to New York. Yeah, and we saw that KD and Kyrie couldn't cut it and Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, they flopped very quick. <laughs> i can't stand the nets i'm glad they're back. I i'm so glad that they're down at the bottom again being a, a knicks fan but what are some other sport you follow baseball and football too yeah man shout out to my boy mike taylor you know what I'm he played for the minnesota twins he's having a great year so i follow him and uh football i love football i ain't gonna lie being from florida i really love football Definitely. you follow That's tampa like- bay miami who's your team down in florida yeah uh, both. I love Tampa and Miami. I love, yeah. I love, and I love Jacksonville. I love the Florida squads for sure. Yeah, they, 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 and they all have too. good teams. Well, the Buccaneers just won so two years ago. Yeah. So, but now yeah, with Brady I, gone, it's gonna be difficult. Yeah, it's rebuilding. But I love football. I love players again in football. You know, I just love to see good football for sure. Yeah. Uh, who Who do you think is gonna take it this? You think the Patrick Mahomes is gonna get his third ring? Who's someone you're looking at early? <laughs> Oh, man. It's really you got to go through him. I say the Chargers. I'm going with the Chargers. You going with the Chargers. If they stay healthy, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Dern, Dern James from Haines City. You know what I'm saying? One of the best safeties in the game. I think the Chargers going this day year right here for sure. Yeah. Herbert's got to pull through here. He's got to actually yeah. – because that game was unacceptable. It. When they choked that game away against the Jaguars, unacceptable. Jaguar, yeah. So they, he got to have a big year. Sure. Yeah, no, he does. What do you think about? Because I'm a Jets fan. What do you think about Rodgers with the Jets? People, hey, I love, I love him. I love Sauce. Sauce is the Sauce Gardner's crazy. Yeah, I love Sauce. I love Williams too. Y'all got a good defense. Like y'all defense is very underrated to me. I think y'all have a great defense. Yeah, no sure. one brings it up. That's because the Jets are they consider them the redheaded stepchild in New York, and they haven't won. They haven't been to the playoffs yeah. in 12 years. I get it, but and Aaron got some young gunners on the outside on receivers, man. Y'all Garrett got, Wilson. Y'all, Y'all got some. Y'all got a squad this year. I think y'all gonna be in the playoffs and, and making a run this year for sure. I hope so. I, I the misery, it, it never <laughs> ends. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it never ends, man. But you got the upcoming album. As far as the upcoming album, do you have a target specific for a release date? 
no release date. We only have a release date set. We got some hard singles. I can't, I still got some movies to get out to the people this summer. So some visuals. Yeah. Have you thought about yeah. doing some web series as far as acting too? Doing your own nah. shows? I, I made um, my movie. I did my own movie a couple of years back. And my people might can find that somewhere on YouTube, but that's about it. Did. I got some merch coming, different type of seeing t-shirts on the way. I did a collab with um Pure Hearts. So it's gonna okay. be really dope. It's gonna be really dope. It, it, tell me more about this movie here. What's this movie about for people that can go man. back and tune it? What's it tell was you just like a hood special, man. We did it was like 2013-14. We did like a little hood special. It was really dope, I thought. You know, y'all might look at me like, oh, this is definitely going to be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Yeah. No, man, but B Street, is there anything else you want to let the audience know? Anything else man. that you have on the way that we didn't cover? We covered a lot. Man, we cover everything. Just tell everybody to go check out that different type of scene on YouTube. Follow me on YouTube, Next Mogul Street. Subscribe. Follow me on IG at Super Streeter. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it. Yeah, man. And, and what's crazy, because when I look on Apple Music, it's B dot street. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have you thought street. about getting that change to the dash so people can sit? I told L we got to get that. He said yeah. we don't work. <laughs> we got to get that right. We got to get that right. Yeah, because because I'm always big on I download my music. I buy I don't play the streaming game that I still purchase my music. So when okay. you got the new releases coming. I'm going to be purchasing okay. it. I don't play the Apple music game. I, I appreciate that. I, I, I want to know if you, you have the drop on this, which with streams versus downloads, what's really the difference? Because I, I this came up on my show a couple of weeks ago. And it's the first time we really ever talked about it. And no one brings it up. What's the difference between a stream and a purchase? Man, I don't even know, to be honest with you, bro. Yeah, no no one ever know. talks about asking. that. I'm always asking the question. Cause yeah. I feel like, man, I be seeing people with millions and billions of streams, but the money just don't add up. No, so no, I don't even know to be honest with you. I'm trying to figure it out myself. Yeah, I, I'm still old school. I like purchasing my music. I wish CDs were still here. Big CD guy. Yeah. I grew up yeah. in that era, so. <laughs> Bro, I used to pass out thousands of CDs. I used to go to Georgia Pass, and I see that's the old school way for real. All the mixtapes. So you used to get the. Spit those thin cases with the CDs, make yeah. it burn your own CDs with the mixtapes, yeah, the paper covers. Up. Man, that was the days for real. That's like when you had to go and put in that work, that grind. You couldn't just, it wasn't just better to press a button. Love it now that it's at a press a button, but it was different back then for sure. No, it was different. The the, the people up and coming now never <laughs> experienced that. And that, that was the organic way. That was the the true way to make it in the industry. Master P, like you said, with, when we talked yeah. about earlier, him selling the CDs out of the trunk of his car. Yeah. You had that experience. It's not yeah. anymore. All the BET, 106 in parks, all that's gone. Man. I know. That was, that was fine. I missed yeah. them days. Yeah. Could you imagine if you got on 106 in park? That would have been crazy. Man, I might have danced. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been dope for sure. Uh, what was your era when, when watching – the 106 in Park was who did you like Terrence you like Terrence J or was it Bow Wow? Yeah. I liked it. I had I, both of them. I was watching Terrence and Bow Wow. You know what I'm saying? So it was cool. Yeah, it was cool. Mister 106 Bow Wow, I remember that. Yeah, Freestyle sure. Fridays, Wild Out Wednesdays. Yeah. Freestyle Fridays would be definitely though. I, I miss them days for sure. Yeah, no, it, it's unfortunate. Maybe one day the the corporations will get smart and bring them back because I I think they could still be useful. But now it's all TV shows, all reality crap, and you know we, we know what yeah. happens. It's it's unfortunate for music because that's the way that broke out musicians. That really helped out musicians. Now it's all reality TV. So yeah, for sure. You already yeah. know. But B Street, man. Anything else? I think that's. You know, I think we covered everything. Yeah. You got to, I just saw you have an Eminem poster in the background. Is that Eminem? Yeah, I got him. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because I, I see he's got the chainsaw. That's why he's had the Jason yeah. mask on with the chainsaw. Yeah, I love him, man. Big That's Eminem fan? Yeah, I like him. I do. I love, I love his lyricists. Like, yeah. man, he's brilliant. He gets a lot of hate, unfortunately. I, I don't know what that is. I just, I don't know. How you putting on words together? Man, I love it. Yeah. Did you see the rumors that he might be dropping something soon? I mean, it's been speculating on Twitter a lot. No, nah, I ain't seen it. Yeah. I haven't seen it. What's your favorite Eminem album? Marshall Mathers. Marshall Mathers. Yeah. It stands on there. Yeah, I like that one. That's my favorite. 
Yeah, that, that's a classic right there. Old Eminem. How do you feel about Eminem's newer material, like Kamikaze, the stuff that music to be murdered by? How do you feel about new Eminem? Because people are kind of mm-hmm. split on it. They're like, oh, I haven't liked anything since recovery. Yeah, I mean, he got, you know, he's a lyricist. That's just who M is, you know. He's just always trying something new and just doing his thing. It's okay. I think it's M. He's a legend. You know what I mean? I really finna get back on some Dr. Dre beats, some, you know, maybe yeah. some hard beats, but I don't, it's M. Yeah. That's it. Go top five. Is is you crack your top five? Definitely. You need a little tired up though. Somewhere. You somewhere up though. You already know. But B Street's gonna be cracking the top fives here. I hope so. If I hit the lottery, you ain't gotta worry about it. Yeah, no, that's a goal here. You gotta <laughs> hit that lottery, man. I'm telling you, you gotta <laughs> uh the Powerball, Mega Millions, all that. All of it. I need to hit all of them in one night, straight up. Yeah, what's your, you know, how many times do you hit that sorry, not a winner when you go to scan the tickets? Yeah, a lot, because I take a lot of shots. <laughs> a lot. Uh, I, I, th- I think it's rigged sometimes, though. I really do, because then there's sometimes you'll win like $2, $3. One, yeah. I've seen people win $300, $500. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Once those millions come in, see you later, I'm out to that island. I'm gone for sure. Uh, B Street, man, I appreciate you for coming on the show. Shout out to El Nice. I got your new single in my rotation. He just sent it to me. Shout out to him for sending it to me. Mad Max mm-hmm. Radio, go check it out. You know, once you drop this new project, you got to come back on. Definitely will, man. Appreciate you for having me, dog. You Thank already you. know, man. They can follow you on Instagram and all that. Super Streeter, mm-hmm. Twitter. You, you have TikTok too? Yep, TikTok, Super Streeter as well. You already know. B Street, thank you again, man. I appreciate Thanks, it. Bro. Yes, Congratulations sir. on everything this far. I look forward to everything you got on the way. Thank you. You already know, man. Take care. Stay safe.